What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tad Collector. In this episode we're going to take a look at other things that I collect. Laser disc. So you ready? Let's go! Okay, YouTube, so we're going to talk Laserdisc. This format was introduced in Atlanta, Georgia on December 11th, 1978. Um, this was the format that was brought after VHS and Beta. VHS uh, was still around and still being produced, uh, yet another format was introduced, and that is the Laserdisc. Um, these things are huge. These players are very big and very heavy. Uh, I have here the Pioneer CLD 1080. And this thing probably weighs a good 40 pounds. Um, and it is massive, as you can see. So if you are trying to conserve space in your movie collection, <laughs> collecting laser disc is not going to be the, um, the best solution for you. Uh, these things take up quite a bit of space. Uh, they are hooked up through your standard composite cables, your red, white, and yellow jacks, if you can see that on the back. And we will take a look at some of the laser discs in my collection. Now, there's several different types of laser disc players. Uh, this one happens to only play one side at a time. There are others that you can put the disc in and once it has played one side it'll automatically um, start playing the opposite side and continue the movie. So we will start off with uh, this stack of laser disc I have here in my collection. All right what type of Batman collector would I be if I did not have all of the Batman movies on Laserdisc. We've got Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever. So, I'll let you take a look at what these discs look like. They are huge. They look like records, but this is going to be what a Laserdisc looks like. And it is both sides. This uh, particular movie happens to come with two. You've got one um, with extended play. And uh, this actually goes on to two disc. The, um, the NTSC versions of these movies usually contain about 60 minutes of footage per side. The PAL versions are usually 30 to around 40 minutes per side. But once again we have Batman. Batman Returns. Batman Forever. One of my favorite movies of all time, Willow. We've got The Silence of the Lambs. Pulp Fiction. Al Pacino in Scarface. Say hello. To my little friend. This is actually in a really uh, nice kind of hard shell plastic casing. Where uh, one side you can put the disc. The other side is for the actual cover. 
Sigourney Weaver in Alien 3. And then there is Dune. Very weird movie. Got the first Alien. The special longer version with, with 12 minutes of new footage of Star Trek The Motion Picture. And I'm sure that uh, the superseded format from Laserdisc was CD and DVD. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the extra footage and, and the special features that were featured on the Laserdisc made it to the DVD versions. We had the special edition of Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Bill Murray in Meatballs. Dolph Lundgren in Red Scorpion. Sharon Stone, William Baldwin, and Tom Berenger in Sliver. Now, this format did not take off that well in North America. However, in Japan and other uh, Asian countries such as Hong Kong, this format was uh, highly um, bought and uh, in rental stores across across the seas over there in Asia. Uh, we've got Reservoir Dogs, one of my favorite movies. All-time classic Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. This movie is rather intense. I'd never seen this movie actually until I found the uh, Laserdisc. Bad Lieutenant. Is that Harvey Keitel? Definitely recommend y'all checking out that, that movie if you've never seen it before. We've got The Godfather Part 2. Classic, classic movie here. Another classic, another treasure. Steven Spielberg's E.T. John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd in The Blues Brothers. Another all-time favorite classic here. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? This movie was definitely ahead of its time. Mixing animation and live action all in the same film. I believe, you know, this I believe this was the first one that did a that either did it or did it very well. Received four Academy Awards. Awesome movie there. We got Heavy Metal. Nothing crazy there. The Stunt Man. And probably the hardest to find laser disc in my collection. And it sold listings on eBay for this have ranged anywhere between 20 bucks all the way up to around a hundred dollars. It just depends. Right now there are no copies on eBay. Um, I looked before I started filming this and um, I could not find any. But we have the Ren and Stimpy show, the essential collection. But there you have it folks, uh, just wanted to make a quick video on some other things that I collect rather than video games, DVDs, and Blu-rays. I do have a small little Laserdisc collection. I'm always on the hunt for them if I see them out in the wild at yard sales, garage sales. I try to always look for them and find them if I can, you know, and pick them up when I can. It is rather hard to find Laserdisc in the wild. 
Um, I've been to Goodwills and thrift stores and Salvation Armies and just mom and pop thrift stores. And I have not come across many. I think in the wild I have found two. A lot of these um, I bought in a big lot off of eBay. Um, other than the Ren and Stimpy. And I luckily won an auction on that one. But these Laserdisc players are going to cost you a little bit of money. Um, if you're looking to get into collecting this format, these players in good condition, in playable condition, um, are going to fetch around 100 to 200 plus. Uh, depending on the model and brand that you get. Uh, obviously, with the more popular models, you're going to pay a little bit more money for them, um, such as the Pioneer. And uh, But there you have it, folks. Just wanted to bring a little bit of extra footage along the week of some other things that I collect. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.